So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet because if you're gonna employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy has ruthless one-punch knockout power. You can't teach it, but when a fighter has it, it's a huge advantage. Good to see this young fighter make the walk here tonight. His takedowns are really some of the best in the game. So explosive, great technique behind them. Certainly you see shades of his collegiate wrestling career. His opponent's got to watch out for those, but even an opponent with good takedown defense will succumb to this guy's shots. No telegraph behind him. When this guy wants to take you down, more often than not, he succeeds. This guy has world-class takedown defense. He is incredibly difficult to take down, and once you do get him down, he gets back to his feet very swiftly. for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, riding out Los Angeles, California, the great! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, riding out of Abuja, Nigeria, Ben. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? You ready? Let's and we are on. underway. <laughs> Opens with the inside leg kick. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Just misses with the jab. Oh, landed it. Ooh, blocks the shot. Nasty counter to the body. Body kick, look at that. Nice leg kick. Charles for a low single. Switching stances here. Oh! Watch the shot here, Joe. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He got tagged there. Misses with the right hand. And there's a takedown attempt. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike here tonight. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Quick jab. That one hurt. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Big power in that hook. Head kick! And that punch flush. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big shot to the head. He's stunned. He's in trouble. He's got him right here. Big shots. Powerful right hand. Good 
control, postures up. Oh, postures up and delivers a massive elbow. Full guard here. He's now working from half guard. And he's trapped in half guard here. Approach the one minute mark in the first round. Postures up. He's in half guard. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Busy as he looks to improve position here. One sound for the end of round one. Let's take a look at some of the action in that round here. Here we see some high level striking, great accuracy on that punch. And here's another punch that sneaks through. Amazing highlights from that round. Brittany Palmer holding it down for us here. Okay, you ready? Round two. You ready? All right, round two. Now, starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. And he connects with the punch. Oh! He is clearly in big, big trouble. Guard, and he lands a hammer fist. He's putting himself into a position to isolate an arm. It looks like he's got that arm bar locked in tight. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. Getting tighter. Stunning. And that Stunning. will do it! And he really made it look easy. He set up the submission and locked it in for the tap. Excellent job. Yeah, Joe, we know you can appreciate that. High-level jujitsu there executes the submission there. And a nice job, too, in transition to make sure that he was patient enough to set it up effectively. And the end of the fight came shortly thereafter. High-level stuff. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 15 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an on bar. The so there he is, your winner by way of submission. And how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase. And that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are gonna be celebrating deep into the night after a submission win like this.
Yeah, homie G, the code MC, rolling beat, the yoga synergy. I just had an epiphany, I don't know what it did to me, but I'm hoping the devil doesn't get into me. I'm still a beast, too. It is me, it's finna be on. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Alright, so here he is, a very accomplished striker, finally making the walk to the octagon tonight. Gotta think he'll be interested, of course, in keeping this fight standing in his wheelhouse. And he's got the takedown defense to keep this fight where he wants it, no doubt. He'll be looking to put on a striking clinic here tonight. This guy has some of the best throws we have ever seen inside the octagon. The speed of his execution and the technique that he uses in the delivery are truly world class. choose to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and stand and trade with this young man, you're playing with fire. Frightening knockout power. Go look at the highlight reel. As good a reel as anybody in the sport, you can be sure he'll be looking to find a home for those heavy hands early and often. You do not want to get in a slugfest with this young contender. I can assure you of that. This guy is a leg lock and arm bar specialist. If he gets a hold of a limb, you are in deep trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bulldog. And now he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Shanghai, China, Pretty Boy! All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. They touch him up, and we are underway. All right, first round, you ready? You ready? And we are on the Hit him hard with that shot there, Joe. Oh, oh that's a big right hand. Right 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 oh. oh. And he connects there, Joe. And he's looking for that left. Oh, he blocked that offense, Joe. And he connects there. Head kick lands. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. Straight punch gets through. Now closes the distance. So much of this one has been spent in the clinch. Double underhooks in the clinch. 
Three minutes to go. shot from the clinch. Oh, he pummels. Now he's got double underhooks, Joe. Tags him. Now he goes for the single leg. These guys are exchanging huge shots. Punches one. And a right behind it. Under two minutes in the first round. Blocks the shot. Big Ooh. shot to the head. He stuck. He's got right here. This choke is getting very tight. He might have to tap any second now. Oh and my there it God! Is. Used excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. Well, yeah, Joe, he told us during fight week he's been working dutifully on his submission game and he was gonna look for an opening here tonight. Safe to say he found one near-perfect setup on the choke. It was sunk in deep, and his opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is calling to stop for this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Hold on. Well, at this point, all that is left is the celebration, and it's nice to see this fighter sharing the moment with his coaches and training partners after the big submission win here tonight. He had no shortage of naysayers coming in. A lot of people said he couldn't come in here and submit a foe of this quality. Well, that should mute the masses a little bit. That should set him up for a big fight moving forward. Tonight, though, as I mentioned, all about the celebration, and it is on in the corner. In the same club that used to turf everybody, I put in 25 hours out, I worked everybody. Turn down big money, I know my worth. I'm not anybody turn down. I'm holding you down. I'm from the bottom. Coming up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, 
can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. The champion headed to the cage right now is in the groove. He is in his prime right now. His training for this bout has been perfect. He believes he has a solid game plan, and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. He is well prepared for this contest. tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Now here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time for round for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Detroit, Michigan, USA, presenting the challenger, Ebro Way. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting from Lake Forest, California, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Big Daddy. for the championship. You've been giving me instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC welterweight champion tonight? It is time to find out. Looking to avoid that left hand. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, nice head kick. Tagged him. Moving towards his right here. Oh, he connects there. That leg kick lands. Good shots by the champion. Inside leg kick, that'll count. Unable to connect with the right hand. Defensive. Big left hand! The trap is stopped. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. This could be it right here. Oh, the head kick landed. Body kick, look at that. These guys are swinging. Oh! Landed some shots. Oh, look at this. Who saw that coming? Three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Big, Big body shot! shot. Body. Now he's in full guard. Posture's up here. And got full mount. Hip escape, nice hip escape. And now it moves into full guard. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Nicely timed sweep, and now he's in half guard. Now he's back into full guard. 
Oh, beautiful, beautiful right hand by the champion. Control here. He tries to pass here but gets shut down. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. He's trying to pass here. Ten seconds to go. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's take a look at that again. And here we see that again. Brittany Palmer with us tonight. All right, let's get to round two. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's gonna look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. Punch coming, it's back. to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Kick lands for him there. He's taking some shots now. To show you the total strikes. These guys are just standing in front of each other and throwing bombs. Cannot get it. Yeah, nice inside leg kick. Going for the single leg now. Changes his stance. There's a single attempt. This is, could be it. He might be forced to tap any second now. This guillotine is getting tighter and tighter. choke and didn't have the time to tap. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke, and if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're gonna go to sleep, and that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup, and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And one more time, Nice technique here on this submission. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the, has the official decision. Contest at two minutes, three seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, and new! Confident number one contender, he leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He submitted the guy, and rather emphatically. So you're looking at him. That is the new UFC welterweight champion. And as he celebrates in the corner, you can't help but think that this could be an extended run for him here at 170 pounds. Only difference is my cloud is too massive. We active when actors give malice to anybody we close to. I'll approach you with a whoop off the